All right, this is my biggest stumper, is where to put yay much stuff. I can't just put this out to get vandalized by the weather. It's this laminate board, it's expensive, and there's a lot of good things I can use this for projects for. Maybe divide it up here and there and spread it, I don't know. It's the moon, look how bright it is right now. I would say they're liking their new home. This guy just chilling. I love how they just chill at the top. I'm just relaxing. One down here. I'm guessing the third one's in the cave. Hoping. I don't think he could get out of that. Anyway, it's time to add some rocks. Clouded up the water a little bit getting the rock in there. But these guys were super interested off the bat. They're already up and in it. Oh, yep, there goes one. But the main reason... F He's like, huh? Why would you do the light? But the main reason for this rock pile is I'm going to put shrimp in here and scuds, which you guys will see. That way it'll create a natural live food web in here for these guys as well. And also help clean up food they don't eat. One of the hardest parts is done. That space is cleared now. Woohoo! The Japanese rice fish babies growing up. These are the red tiger kings. And since I don't have space in the fish room for them, I'm going to end up putting them in the quarantine rack for now. And in this dingy one, we've got the tricolor. The other one, we got close to 19 out of them. Quite a few in here too. This is algae balm. And in here we've got some new geckas. And these are different types of Medeca rice fish. The ones I got from Japan. Finally started pulling out those blue Miyuki platinum rice fish babies out of the little boys that were over there. And that's 75 down there. Well, one little boy, the other one's got dwarf neons. I got a few out of them. This isn't even counting the 30 I grabbed for orders earlier. I do got a few baby oranges too. Got a few extra shrimp out of my cold tank here. There's a few neat ones in here too. Now these bigger ones, these axolotls aren't big enough to eat yet. So they'll be good. And if you don't have shrimp, I would recommend getting some, then getting like a five gallon, 10 gallon, bringing them out first, and then use those for your axolotls. Never get sold. Now these guys are looking plump as it is. All right, over the rock pile. There they go. This will allow them ample hiding spots and places to get away from them. But over time, they'll breed and breed and breed, which will feed and feed and feed. Wow, you can see its guts inside of it. Look at its belly. Hiding, hiding, hiding. This guy is fully hiding. Shrimp ain't scared. Well, look, it's got them alert. It's got them active. This will help keep them frisky. Lively and natural. Good belly. My shrimp is pregnant. 
I've also been feeding them these Fluval Bug Bites Cichlid Formula. See how they're like a pellet, round pellet? Something a little more natural and meaty for them. Could be why they're so full right now is for eating these things. Which they're insect larva and salmon recipe fish food. Salmon. But it's something a little meatier for them than the tetragranules that I was feeding. Trying to get it painted since it was only 90. Still feels like 95 or 96, but Direct son, I can't do it. Had to reset up shop here. Do a little weed eating. Move everything over. There's 30 long pieces, 36 shorter pieces. And I had to get smart with the transfer. Using those wire shelves are just handy. All right, back in business, but but burning daylight. A lot of long way to go. And I gotta do this by four. Four of these, four sets. Put them rips. My son is too much. I am turning into a lobster. I think I'm gonna bring in and just do some in here because it ain't worth it. I keep trying. That sun ain't worth it. I stayed outside using the van for shade. Got to flip them over, get these small two coats done. Slightly cooked. Just in time for sunset. Got her done. I am toast. Now to get them in here before all the bugs get in here, but I better bust out a few reps because I ain't going to be able to do that for quite some time. I got a few new guppies in too. Some of the ones I was missing and then a couple pairs of some others. Tiger half moon. Tiger half moons. Get them colored up and going. Got about 500 milliliters of them. Yellow King Cobras. Purple Mosaic Gumbo Ears. Oh, look at that purple. Could be washed out. Well, I was about to get the legs started, but that just came over the woods. The bluegrass guppies did end up having babies. They're all hiding because the parents are just bonkers all the time. I am gonna go ahead and pull these guys out. That way I just know I'll have babies. All right, got all the guppy parents moved out of these tanks. Got them put down on the bottom here. So my cichlid rack is pretty much full of guppy and rice fish. Yeah. But that is good news because I got lots of baby guppies. And you can see I still got to build my squares here. Haven't got into that yet, but soon. I have done some mocking up of these racks and how they're going to go. This is a lot tighter than what I thought it was going to be, but don't look that bad on video. I don't know, still squeeze. I like these nice wide ones. I'm a, I'm a bit befuddled because I measured this before I even planned it. Believe it or not. That's going to be tight. I'm also about to try out some of these triops. These things are crazy looking. Stuck some in the little container there. Oh, a little 10 gallons. There's their half moon guppies. Focus. 
These are purple mosaic gumbos. Still not purple. Yellow king cobras, they look a bit skittish. <laughs>